This is new work, resi new work nail on box. Can be used in some con commercial applications if the construction type allows. One thing I don't like about these boxes is, again, 3 8 inch spacing along the face of the box. So you have to modify for half inch. So again, you match the drywall and you obtain a flush fit on the finish. I recommend when you're starting out to use the jig when you haven't developed the, the touch and feel for half inch. But at this point, I know where that lands. <clears throat> Again, I want to leave myself nine inches of cable inside of the box. I'm going to pre-strip. That's my personal preferred method. A lot of tools for stripping Romex or non-metallic cable, as the code calls it. But again, I like the all-in-one. Mm -hmm. I want to depress this flap to allow entry for the cable, but I don't want to overstress it such that it no longer provides strain relief for the cable entering the box. Because this is a clamp, I do have 12 inches from the point of entry, the first point at which it's secured. Don't drive it like a railroad spike. Be easy on it. Don't need a lot. Then I'm going to safely tuck the wires into the box. I'm going to fold them back gently. I'm going to be mindful of my service loop so that it's not protruding from the wall. I'm going to work it in and I'm going to tuck that wire back so it's safe past the face of the box from roto zips. Those drywallers will intentionally plunge the roto zip into the box find the exterior of the box and route around it, and if you're not careful, they will destroy your wire. <laughs>